This is Alim from Javelin, playing with the new toys in SOLIDWORKS 2013. Today we'll take a look on how SOLIDWORKS 2013 cleans up the feature tree in the sheet metal environment. That being said, I suggest you watch this video all the way to the end, because this functionality, if not used properly, it's extremely dangerous. You can get wrong lengths for your flat patterns. So let's take a look. This is SOLIDWORKS 2013. And as you can see, I have a multi-body part. What's new in 2013 is the fact that the sheet metal, now it's a folder that contains all the sheet metal features for each and every one of the bodies. Same thing for the flat pattern. So everything is nicely placed and nicely structured. Very easy to find stuff. Just to remind you, in SOLIDWORKS 2012, these features were pretty much all over the place. As you can see, the sheet metal features and the flat patterns were directly at the first level of the, of the tree and in various places on the tree. Why am I saying that this is potentially dangerous if you don't know how to use it? So I'm going to switch back to 2013 and I have here a sketch. I created a sketch, a simple sketch. Let's create one uh, sheet metal part containing only one body. So maybe I'm going to go mid plane. Um, let's say about three inches and let's exaggerate on the K factor. I'm going to put here 0.8. Let's flatten this part and let's add a um, reference dimension. So we can take a look at how long the flat pattern is. So it's about eight inches, 50 tall. Now, if you wouldn't have watched this video, if you wanted to change the K factor for this part, you just go like, like you do it in 2012, edit the sheet metal feature. And I'm going to change this, let's say to point to again, exaggerating. Once you do that, you'd expect that the length of your flat pattern would change, but it's not the case in SOLIDWORKS 2013 SP0 and SP1. What's happening actually? Well, this is actually controlled by the sheet metal uh, feature that's assigned to this body. So I have to edit this one inside the folder. And as you can see, this remains at 0.8. Apparently there is a check mark here that says override default parameters. So you'd expect that if you turn this off, SOLIDWORKS will just read whatever it's at the, at the top level, 0.2k factor, but that doesn't work. This doesn't change. So just remember, you have to go to the sheet metal feature inside the folder, the sheet metal that belongs to that body and change this. So now I'm gonna go to point two. And as you can see, this changes. So again, uh, I believe this will be uh, more clearly indicated in uh, one of the future service packs. But until then, be careful and make sure that you edit the sheet metal features inside the sheet metal folder for changing any settings there. Thank you. Thank you.